constantly. So there's always going to be, uh, you know, the ability to just jump into a game and just start playing. If it be, you know, from being a tournament where you pay a small fee to, to compete or just, you know, just against your mates and whatnot or with guildies. Uh, another th cool thing I haven't actually mentioned, something I almost forgot about, is the fact that this game is not only is it going to be on PC and Mac, but uh, not not at launch, but shortly afterwards, hopefully, the game will actually be available on iOS and Android on their respective markets. And yeah, that, that's pretty awesome. You're playing the game on a tablet, you know, if you're on a bus or a train, you can just keep playing Hex. <laughs> so that also, you know, gives the ability for everyone to just play whenever the hell you like, which is something you can't really do with Magic the Gathering, for example. If you want to play that in, in a, you know, for, for example, at a card shop or something with your mates, you know, you have to all have the time to go down there and play it, or if you want to play the Magic Online, for example, uh, you know, you don't really have the option to play on a tablet or, yeah, the interface wasn't very good either way. But yeah, so they're doing, you are pretty much are supporting the game at all angles, you know, you've got the PvE, you got PvP, you've got tablet support, they're, they're really tackling, shut up dog, <laughs> they're, they're really tackling it from pretty much every angle so that everyone has something that, you know, should, you know, if you're not interested in PvP but you want to play with mates against raid bosses and they've got something for everyone and I, I, I am extremely excited for the game and uh, there's plenty of stuff available pretty much if you're, if you're new to a TCG. Uh, you know, I, I implore you to try it out and just take try out the PVE for free. Uh, you know, when when uh, that is available uh, later this month, though, you can uh, catch the streams here. We'll be streaming uh, constructed games and hopefully some drafts. Not too much later, Taron also will have his own stream, so we'll both be streaming out games quite often. So you can check it out and see if it see if it's something that would interest you. Uh, obviously, you check out their website. Uh, check out the different videos. They've got their YouTube channel with different gameplay. Uh, if you go to twitch.tv uh, slash hextcg, you can also see some previous streams that Cryptozoic ran, showing off the game, um, you know, like different decks battling each other. So you can get a look at the interface and all that sort of cool stuff. Anything you want to add? Uh, no, just, um, yeah, if if you're at all interested, um, I definitely recommend you do get on HexTCG.com. There is so much information there, some backstory for all the races and um, things like, for example, those Shin Hair. They're actually really sinister and evil. I suggest you actually read their backstory. They are so mean. Yes, indeed they are. They are quite evil. Uh, they don't really have any value for, for the life of their, their kin. <laughs> Just keep pumping out as many as they can and just, it's all about overwhelming anyone they don't like. So the Kyodal, for example, they don't like the Kyodal. So they just basically want to kill them all. And then any any Shin Hair that do survive, they go up in the ranks and... <laughs> but if you, if you don't, you know, if you're just a little lowly troop, they don't give a crap about you. And they are very evil. Pretty cool, because you might think on first glance, oh, nice little fluffy rabbits. <laughs> but no, they're quite evil. So yeah, if you if you are somewhat interested in the game, or you've never played a, a TCG before, but you, it's, from what we've said, it sounds good or it looks good, uh, you know, check out the streams, watch the games. Uh, I've got some previous streams. Uh, well, there will be you know when the game is the alpha later this month. It's probably in the next uh, two to three weeks. Uh, we'll be doing a lot of streams, showing off the game in action, uh, talking about everything and anything. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, that, that way you, you know, might not want to back yet, so, you know, feel free to check out our streams, see if it's something that interests you, and then, uh, you know, you've got the option of doing the slacker backer here, and then if you want to get in on the alpha action, you know, this is what uh, one way of doing it. I don't think there is uh, going to be any other way to get into the alpha other than this option here at the moment, which in my opinion, though, is uh, worth it just to getting in the alpha alone, because you're going to get, you know, probably several months of playing the game and then when the drafting is uh, you know available that's something where people will be able to practice and get used to that type of format uh, before the game's released so it's you know a lot of good experience for free um, and that's pretty much invaluable experience you know that's you'll be able to do a lot and a lot of practice and get used to the cards and deck building and all the stuff that goes into playing a, a TCG and yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun 
think have we pretty much covered everything. I'm not sure. Uh, we pretty much jumped around from <laughs> from cards to <laughs> all over the place. Um, yeah, you skip in like a, a shocking record, but um, yeah, why not? I think you've covered most of it um, throughout the course of this stream. So um, I'm just checking if we got any final questions from chat, and uh, if not, I reckon that'd be about it. Sounds good. And yeah, just remember we got the, the guild here. If you doesn't matter where you are, you know everyone's welcome. There's our website, elementary.engine.com. So feel free to come and sign up, and I'll then you can talk to everyone about the game and whatnot. That's the website there. Otherwise, that's pretty much wraps it up. I'll, I'll be doing some more streams probably later, going over some other things. But yeah, primarily in the next when the alpha starts, probably in the next week or so. Uh, expect lots of uh, streaming and content. So yeah, thanks for watching, and that's all from us. Oh, was there any questions? <laughs> uh, no final ones, no. Well, I haven't gotten a response in chat, so I'm guessing no. I didn't even realise we had viewers. <laughs> yeah, no, I've been talking to them the whole time, man. You've you've been going off, I'm just like, yeah, alright, I'll, I'll, I'll sort out questions in chat. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm too excited for this game, so... When once I get started, I can't stop. But yeah, you, should, you could have just talked to me, I wouldn't have minded. <laughs> No, oh, no, they're all easy. <laughs> yeah, no, kid, um, pretty much everyone's welcome. We are primarily oceanic, but we do have players from all over the world, so... As I was saying, anybody is welcome. I'm just sorry I can't show you guys some... Uh, actually, what I might do is... I'll just play this trailer really quickly. <laughs> Actually, no, I won't, because I've got this stream set up, so it's very low frame rate. So, but yeah, check out the trailer on their website if you want to uh, look at some gameplay and whatnot. Uh, their YouTube channel. You can also, if you want to have a look at just all the cards in the game that's been revealed, you got the Hex Data Mine website. Uh, so you can look at all the different cards, uh, the different decks, champions. You got, I, th I don't know how much gear they've got in there. Let's have a quick look. So yeah, you've got the uh, the different slots for your champion. You've got armor, your chest piece, your weapon, trinket, boots, helmet, gloves. So there, yeah, you can, you can only wear one of those at a time. So, because there's so many pieces of equipment, like if you look at this page here, holy moly, that's a lot of equipment and that's nothing. There's going to be tons. So, when it comes to PvE and deck building, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's... Lots and lots of variation there. A lot of crazy stuff. I'll be, I think we have a bunch of players who are, are you know, like for example I, I don't work so I'm just going to be playing a lot and uh, yeah I think we have uh, some other players in you know different time zones so there's always probably going to be some people on but at the moment we've only got probably just over 100 members but you know we hope to grow and just keep getting more people from all over the world so yeah it should, it should be I reckon there'll be Pretty often you always have someone on, to, someone on to talk to and play with. So I think that'll more or less wrap for the stream. We've, I think, showed just about everything we can without um, basically walking them through um, the website itself. For Well, all of it anyway. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much to the game that we can't, we don't... Trying to cover everything would be <laughs> next to impossible, but yeah, I think we covered the basics and probably not too well. <laughs> I'm pretty new to this, so I, I apologise if I 
skipped around too much, guys, but yeah. Uh, feel free to check out their website. You've got the Kickstarter page, you've got their website, you've got uh, the Data Mine site, um, their YouTube channel. Just look up uh, Cryptozoic Entertainment on YouTube. Uh, got various videos, then they've got the, their Twitch channel as well, which is just HexCCG. Um, but yeah, they've got lots of stuff you can look at. They've got the different articles on their page, which shows, like, for example, different card spoilers. Um, just tons of different articles about how the game's progressing, uh, their different plans, and all sorts of stuff. So there's plenty of content to look at. And uh, yeah, just learn about the game, and yeah, definitely going to be something to look forward to. And yep, I will end it there. And Hopefully it was uh, not too tormenting to watch or listen to. Thank you, everyone. Thank, thanks, Taryn, for joining me. For joining me. Sorry, thanks for having me.